My name is Erin Marin, and when I was a young child, I was sexually abused. And it was done by people I knew and trusted. I was six years old, but I could tell you the details of what happened over 20 years ago as if it happened yesterday. The closet doors open, the toys on the floor, and one thing I'll never forget, he looked at me and said, this is our little secret. If you tell anybody, no one will believe you. When I was 11 years old, it happened again, this time by a trusted family member. And I went home and began writing about it in my childhood diary. And for two and a half years, I filled that diary not letting anybody know the horrors I was enduring. This secret is killing me, and I have to tell someone. What if he is right and no one believes me? How do I make him stop? If you are out there, God, please help me. And it wasn't until my little sister came to me and said the words I will never forget. Brian's gross. I remember looking at her and saying, he's doing it to you too? The very next day, we told our parents. I thought because the abuse ended, that life was gonna get so much easier. But the nightmares and flashbacks began to consume me, haunt me. I just remember being so angry. And I eventually had this turning point of confronting one of my abusers in a five-page letter. It was angry and hate felt. Never in a million years would have thought I would get a response back. But five days later, I got one. I'm sorry for what I did to you a long time ago. My actions weren't thought out. I was confused and disoriented. I wish I had never hurt you the way that I did. I am sorry for the past, and I hope you can forgive me. But if you cannot, I understand. I am sorry. But then I began to realize that I was allowing that anger, that hatred, that bitterness to control my life. And that's when I made that decision. I said, I'm going to forgive him and do something positive with this. I want to go out there and help other people who carry the same shame, the same secrets that I did, and allow them to find their voice. That's why I created Aaron's Law requiring sexual abuse prevention education in our public schools. Teaching kids the difference between safe touch, unsafe touch. Safe secrets, unsafe secrets. Aaron's Law has been passed now in 26 states and pending in 24. I've made it my life mission to get Aaron's Law passed in every single state. I don't want another generation, another century of children to not be educated on this very important issue. We teach children stranger danger, tornado drills, bus drills, fire drills, say no to drugs, but we teach nothing on sexual abuse. As a society, we sweep it under the rug, look the other way, and think it's not gonna happen to us. Parents, you need to know how to talk to your kids about sexual abuse, the warning signs to look for, and the proper way to handle it if your child does disclose, no matter how uncomfortable it might be. And kids, if this has ever happened to you, this is not your fault. You're not to blame, and you need to tell somebody. There are safe places for you to go. Go to tlc.com slash be the voice to educate yourself on sexual abuse, to get the support you need and help pass Aaron's law in every state. The National Sexual Assault Hotline provides free, safe, and confidential help 24-7 by phone at 800-656-HOPE or online at rain.org.